Hello everyone, Maverick Collectibles back here doing another video. As always, if you guys like the videos, give us a follow, give us a like. Maverick Collectibles on all the platforms. Check out our sports card stuff on eBay under Maverick Collectibles. And also our new resale channel on eBay, Resale MC for other non-sports card items. Uh, you can see in the back before I get started here, I got a whole bunch of buying. I've been buying a ton. So there'll be another video coming here shortly with all the pickups we've been making over the last few weeks. Uh, still, still buying a lot, so... But this one is interesting. We're gonna do some gambling today. We've got five baseball fun packs from the 60s and one from 1970 that we're gonna open. I picked these up in auctions. They were not cheap. Um, I think for the five, paid about $400 or so. So uh, there's a good chance we get killed on these, but I've been staring at them for a few months and I'm gonna open them now. There is one good surprise here. This one does have Duke Snyder in the back, which which is the reason I'm going to open the rest. I saw a Hall of Famer in the back here. I don't know when these were put together. They're delivered by West Corp, distributed by West Corp. They're definitely repacks. But uh, the fact there's a Hall of Famer in the back of one of them, maybe there's some other stars in these sets that we can pull. So let's jump into it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go latest years to earliest years. So we're gonna start with the 1970. The cards are in pretty good shape, so I'm hoping on the inside the cards are good. The, the uh, cards on the external here are probably going to be the worst shape. I did look to see if these may, may have been like um, the staples pulled out and put back in. It, it looks like they're in at least in the same holes. There's no additional holes, so who knows? These could be original from probably the 70s, or or they could have been resealed, open, put junk in. But again, the fact that there's a Duke Snyder on the back of one at least gives me a little bit of confidence. So no turning back now. No, they are still sealed here, so... Okay, I don't know if that's a reseal, but that's... We'll see. Can't even open them. Completely unprepared here. Didn't know what I was getting myself into. Let's hope we at least pull a couple people that we recognize for the amount of money, and maybe there's a couple cards we can get graded. This one actually has staple marks in the back from being folded over here. You see the little staple marks. All right, let's see what we got. So we got Paul Casanova, Jim Ray, Willie Crawford, Dick Ellsworth. Ooh, that's that's a funky looking card there. Prince Olaf, Danny Walton. Got pitching leaders. So Denny McLean on there. No Hall of Famers. Mel Stoudemire, Jim Jim Perry. No Hall of Famers though. Jose Pena, Don Wilson. Got our rookie stars: Keith Lampert and Spio Spinks, and Gail Hopkins. So, so far, getting crushed, <laughs> which is what I fully expect to happen here. Next up, 1966. Maybe we'll see a few high numbers out of this. I'm not sure. I kind of doubt it. At least we won't have to look at them anymore. And we'll have to wonder. I'll know. I don't really... I, I have a ton of sealed wax that I haven't opened. Hundreds. I don't really buy sealed wax anymore. All right, Don Landrum, Dick Grote, there's a star there. Lou Krause, John Roseboro, Jim Fergosi, Washington Senators, that's a sharp looking card. Al Weiss, Dave Moorhead, Jim Brewer, Mike Brumley. So again, no stars in there. The uh, Senators card is, is a nice card. These are all low number. Nothing of those either. Let's go 65. This one's a little damaged on the back card there. Let's see what we got. Thought about reselling these, but just don't know if they've been tampered with, so I just decided I'm going to open them. If somebody's going to get killed, it's going to be me. Bob Rogers, Rick Wise, Albie Pearson, Vic Rosnowski, Sam Bowens, Len Gabrielson, Bud Daly, Frank Larry, Wade Blessingame, and Sam McDowell. Cards are in decent shape. Just nothing, nothing too exciting in these packs yet. This is the one with uh, Duke Snyder. It's also got the dents, unfortunately, from the from the staples. 
So it's gonna hurt the value on it, even if it is good otherwise. Those dents will bring it down pretty considerably if we were gonna grade it. Maybe there'll be some other Hall of Famers tucked in here since there's a Duke Snyder in here. Oh, I can see why the Duke Snyder's in there already. <laughs> it's you're, you're gonna like it. Jerry Lynch, Haywood Sullivan, Johnny Romano, Jerry Walker, Bob Bolin, Dan McDivitt, The Right Pitch, Bob Perky, Jim Turner, Joe Jay, Dick Brown, and a really miscut Duke Snyder. <laughs> that's uh that's pretty bad. Yeah, you can see it on the back how miscut it is. It does have the little staple marks there. These are in pretty good shape, though. That was a pretty good centered card. Pretty good shape. Probably like a six type grade on that one. McDevitt's probably a five or a six. They're just not, just cards just aren't that valuable. This is a high number there, 500. I think that's, I think the uh, high number sort of 562. Not 100% sure. There's a lot of 400s there, too. I do have uh, some Bob Gibsons and things I sent in. I'll have to check to see if any of those are good high numbers. All right. Last pack. 1960 tops. I need, like, a if I get a Skremski rookie card and, like, a PSA 8, I'll get my money back here. Otherwise, we've made a donation to the auction house. Man, Manuel Javier, Kurt Flood. Oh, there's a good one. Not a Hall of Famer, but major star there, Kurt Flood. Danny O'Connell. Jim Busby. Dick Brown. Irv Norin. Tom Borland. Gene Oliver. Albie Pearson. Eddie Fisher. As expected, got smoked. <laughs> But at least I didn't sell these and somebody else got smoked. Would have been upset, so. Overall, got some, some clean comments. Some of these are pretty good. Like the Dick Brown there is well-centered. Corners are a little touched up. Some of these are in pretty good shape. I won't come close to get my money back on these, but some of these probably get three to five bucks for. And uh, hopefully cut it down to like a $300 loss to a $400 loss would be the goal. <laughs> So anyway, if you guys like the video, give us a follow, give us a like. You got a couple decent cards out of this. The Kurt Flood. They're really miscut. Duke Snyder's probably a $5 card. The Pitching Leader is a pretty cool card. But nothing nothing exciting, unfortunately. So, check out the channel. Maybe start doing some more pack openings. I got a bunch of this modern stuff I bought back in 2021, 20, 22. It's all just sitting here. I Again, probably... Two to three hundred boxes of blasters and mega boxes and all kinds of stuff. I may start doing like a pack a day series where I do quick shorts and just open open a pack a day and do a short, see what we get, just to start moving through it. I, I probably won't resell most of it. it; doesn't hold much value anymore. So I may just open it and see what happens. Uh, probably no more of these fun packs, though. As always, follow the channel, give us a like. Meta for Collectibles on all the platforms. If you guys like the video. Leave a comment below. We'll talk to you guys next time.